That's what's happening right now. And that's where we begin at five. One year ago tomorrow, the oil rig Deepwater Horizon burst into flames and led to the largest oil spill in U.S. history, a spill that many say has stolen their health. WGNO's Vanessa Bellano has more. 22-year-old Paul Doom is still getting used to his new life in a wheelchair. Just last summer, he was training in Navarre Beach, Florida to become a U.S. Marine. I went to the beach all summer and swam in the Gulf maybe four or five, maybe six times. Mid to late July, I began to get really bad headaches and I started passing blood. At first, he was told it was nothing, and in November, he had a stroke. They couldn't tell me why I was um, paralyzed or why I had lesions in my brain or why I had the headaches. Paul eventually had toxicity tests done that revealed some of the chemicals normally found in crude oil were now in his blood, and he's convinced his time training in the Gulf was killing him. Paul's in New Orleans today sharing his story at the Gulf Coast Leadership Summit. His mom hopes he has a good day today. She says on bad days he's had up to 14 seizures. Paul's visited about 20 hospitals and 200 doctors, including one of our own, Dr. Michael Robichaud, near Homa. Some people have had enormous amounts of exposure with no problem. Some people have just walked on the beach or, or have been close to it and are sick as a dickens. Dr. Robichaud has seen about 60 patients suffering from constant headaches, respiratory problems, and memory loss. He says Paul's case is bad, but he's seen worse. And he's convinced this new influx of clients is due to the oil spill. Paul Doom says he still has a marine mentality, but now he's using it towards a different goal. Paul wants to help people along the Gulf Coast find answers and help. He says his 14-year-old brother also tested positive for toxins, yet so far he's doing fine. We're live in the newsroom, Vanessa Volano, WGNO News. Thanks so much, Vanessa.